In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to texture your models like a professional, even if you're just a beginner at Blender. If this is gonna be too fast for you and you wanna learn more about the tools and techniques you're about to see me use, I put all of this in my Blender ebook, check that out, the link is below. This is episode four of a series, so if you haven't seen the first three episodes where I modeled this microphone, go check those out and this is going to make a lot more sense. To begin texturing, we first have to switch to the shading workspace, and this is where we're going to create our materials. Here's a picture of the microphone which we just created, and this is a real life picture so we can see all the materials. As you can see, we got a metallic body, we got a metallic cable, we got another metallic material at the top of this cable, the back of the cable is rubber, this is a clear metal texture, and then the crown has a couple of different materials. The most interesting part of this tutorial is going to be the part where we're going to create this text and this mesh at the top of the microphone so stick around if you want to learn how to do that this is one of the most important things when you're visualizing products in blender first of all we're going to select the body of the microphone and we're going to click on this new button right here to create a new material we're going to name this body metal and in the principal bsdf node here we're going to click on this white bar reduce the brightness of this color because this has to be a dark gray color also turn up the metallic value because this has to be reflective like a metal right now this is completely smooth but it has to have a bit of a texture on it Here's how you can create that. In the shader editor with shift A, we can add a new node. And if you click on search right here, you can type in noise texture, click on this. And now you have a new node, which can be used to create all types of different textures. Then with shift A, we're going to search for and add another node. This one is called color ramp. Click on this and add it right here between these two nodes that we have from before. Now plug color into factor. And before we connect it here, we have to add another node. So shift A, search. And this time we're going to add a bump node. Place that right here, plug the color into height and then plug the normal into normal now this is going to simulate some type of height variation on our material which is going to make it look like it's bumpy right now it looks like shit but don't worry we're about to tweak some settings to make this look a lot better first of all we're going to reduce the strength value in the bump node to something like 0.2 now it's not as strong but now we have to make this into a finer texture so in the noise texture node crank up the scale to something like this as you can see we got some distortion going on right now so we have to fix that first go up here to edit preferences add-ons and in this search bar you're going to type in node and check this box which says node wrangler close this select the noise texture node and press ctrl t this is going to give you a couple more nodes i know this looks complicated but it's extremely simple all you have to do is change this from generated to object so just plug object into vector and now this is going to be mapped a little bit differently and it's going to look a little bit better in the noise texture node also crank up the roughness increase the level of detail and as you can see now this looks a lot finer and a lot more detailed we're still going to reduce the strength a little bit here and in the principled node we can also reduce the roughness to make this a little bit more reflective now we got the body material taken care of later we're going to add some icons and text here but let's take care of the other basic materials first select the crown and now open up this little menu next to the new button we're also going to load up body metal click on this double page thing to duplicate this material and i rename the duplicated material into crown now we have a copy of the same material so we can make some changes on this crown without affecting this other material that we have here in the back so the crown just has to be a lot more bumpy than the body so first of all we're going to increase increase the strength in the bump node and then we're going to reduce the scale of the noise texture node from 222 into something more reasonable like 25 but we also have to reduce the detail to make this a larger texture now this looks a little bit better but we do have to crank up the scale and let's adjust the strength to make this look right so now you can literally just copy these settings for the crown we still have the same mapping in these nodes the noise texture node has a scale of 420 the detail is 0.3 the roughness is 0.7 these two remain untouched we got a default color ramp the strength is something like 0.1 and the roughness in the principal node is something like 0.36 then below the crown we need to add a separate material so with alt right click we're going to select a face loop down here at the bottom and with control plus we're going to add to this selection until we get to the top of this shape here or rather to the bottom of this step below the crown go to the material tab right here now we're going to use this plus button to add a new material slot we're going to load up the body metal one more time and click assign this material has to be the same as the body and later on we're going to add this little text here we're going to skip the mesh for now and also this little cage below the crown and now let's move on to the lower part of this microphone this handle right here is very similar to the body metal so we're going to load that up for this object but we're going to duplicate this we're going to name this plastic because this is not a metallic material all we're going to do now is reduce the metallic value and then also reduce the brightness of the base color so that it fits a little bit better it looks like it's basically the same shit but it's not exactly the same whatever let's move on select these two objects below and we're going to apply the same plastic material to those an easy way to do that is to select all the 
objects where you want to have this material. Then lastly, select an object which already has this material. Now press Ctrl L, link materials. And these are now going to carry the same material from this last one here. We can edit all of these simultaneously. On the legs, I want to load up the body metal. I just have to apply that to one leg, then select the other two legs and shift select the leg which already has the material. Ctrl L, link materials. And then we're going to select the bottom of this leg or rather the foot of this leg. Add a new material slot, load up the plastic, assign that there. Make sure that you do the same thing for all the other legs. And now we just need to make a metal material for this screw right here. To do that, we're going to add a new material slot, generate a new material, name that black shiny metal. And base color gotta be black. With L, you can select the screws in edit mode, assign that there, crank up the metallic value, reduce the roughness, and it has to be a little bit brighter, so it's gonna be something like this. Now that looks a little bit better. Also, make sure to apply that same material to this little screw down here at the bottom. Now let's move up to the cable. Top of this cable has to have the same material as the crown. That's gonna look something like this. Then down here, we have to make a hard rubber material. So new material, name that rubber, increase the roughness, reduce the brightness of the color. We're going to visit the body metal by clicking on this object here. Scroll up, use your box select tool to select all of these nodes, which give us a bumpy texture here. Hover your mouse over one of the nodes and press Control C. Now right click on this object with the rubber material, press Control V to paste all of this. Move it over here to the side with G and plug the normal into normal of this material. Now you can fuck with some of the settings to make this a little bit more bumpy. Reduce the roughness a little bit. And now that looks all right. We're gonna select the back of the microphone, load up rubber, and we're gonna duplicate this because for some reason this is a little bit lighter. So we're going to name this rubber two and just slightly increase the brightness of the base color. Lastly, let's load up the rubber material again on the cable. Duplicate. This is gonna be called cable. This just has to be a little bit more reflective. And I'm going to reduce the strength of the bump map because it has to be a bit more shiny as well. Then select this little button, new material. Let's just call this chrome, even though it's not. I just don't feel like using the word metal anymore. Crank up metallic, reduce the roughness, select the crown and copy all these nodes again with control C. Go back to the button, control V, plug the normal into normal. We're going to reduce the scale and play around with the settings until you're happy with this material. It's a very small detail, so it's not that big a deal. Finally, let's move up here. We need a simple black metal material, which is going to be called cage. We can just load up shiny black metal here, duplicate that and name this cage. Later, we're going to create the holes here. And for the top, we're going to generate a new material. This is going to be called mesh. We can make that metallic. In a moment, we're going to add some texture maps here to turn this into that mesh frame that we need to have here. We also got this object on the inside. This needs to be completely black because it has to look like it's completely dark. Click on new. Just name this dark. Base color should be completely black. Crank up roughness. Open up specular down here. Reduce the IOR level. Now this is completely dark and now we're good to go. Next, let's start adding some texture maps. Now here's a very easy way to create custom textures and logos and decals and whatever, which we're going to apply to this model, such as the text that we have around here, and maybe some logos and icons in the back here. It's extremely unlikely that you're going to be able to just find these textures on Google. So here's how you can make them yourself. Don't click away as soon as I show you this next technique. There's no way around this. You got to learn how to do this. Go to Google and type in paint space net. Click on the download button right here. Go down here to download now. Then click on this link right here to download this program. Once you click a few more buttons, you're going to install the program it's going to be ready for use. This is what you're going to see when you open it up. It only works on Windows, so if you're a Mac OS user, you're fucked. But I'm soon going to switch to Mac OS myself. So once I do that, I'm going to show you guys how to do this on Mac OS as well. It's probably the same shit for any other image editing program. So just get another one which works for Mac OS. With Control N, we're going to create a new canvas. This is going to be 2048 by 2048 pixels. You're just going to write that for width and height. Then click OK, and now you got a new big canvas. This is going to be a texture. We're starting from scratch right now. Click on the bucket tool right here. You can also do that with F. Then we gotta pick a color, but black isn't gonna cut it because our material isn't fully black. So go back to Blender. I'm going to click on this body metal material, open up the base color, switch to hex right here, and copy this code. Right now for me it's 3A, 3A, 3A. We're gonna copy that with Control C. Then go back to Paint Net, and in your little colors window right here you can paste the hex code, and you're going to have that exact color. I know it looks a lot brighter in here, but that's because there's no shading and there's no reflections. It's gonna look very different once we make it metallic in Blender, and once we change some more settings about this material. Now with your bucket tool, just spill this color all over your canvas. Now pull out your text tool, set the color to white, add a new layer with this button. We're going to go up here to the font and we're going to set that to Arial, make it bold, crank up the font size, then click up here and we're going to type in SM57. Let's make the font a little bit bigger still. Then we're going to add a couple of spaces here, then write dynamic. Then we're going to click away, then click back here again and we're going to type in LO space Z, but this shouldn't be bold. Place that around here somewhere. 
and then we're going to go to Google Images and type in Sure Logo PNG. I hope I don't get sued for this. Open up the first picture, right click, copy image, go back to paint, add a new layer and paste this here with Control V, keep canvas size. We're going to make this a little bit smaller by holding Shift and then clicking and dragging this corner control point right here. Place that right here. Go up here to adjustments, invert colors. Now this is white. We're gonna place that right around here somewhere. Then we gotta go back to Google and type in CE Mark PNG. That's gonna give us this little thing right here. I don't know what this means. Let me know in the comments so I can become smarter from making these videos too. Make sure you get a PNG, right click, copy image, go back to paint, add a new layer, control V to paste this. Again, go to adjustments, invert colors. Then we're going to go up here to image, flatten. And with control S, we're going to save this image. We're going to name this texture. And I also see some more text on my cable. So let's create that as well. Control N, my width is going to be 2048. My height can be 256, that's fine. Click OK, go back to the old image, use the eyedropper to copy this gray color. Go back to the new image, use the bucket, paint right here. Now get the text tool, set the color to white. Click right here. I'm going to set the font size to something like 18. And I'm just going to copy what I'm looking at in real life right here next to me. That's going to say K-L-O-T-Z. It looks a little bit blurry, so we got to increase the font size. But then this is going to be a lot longer, so we got to make a new image for this. Or maybe we can just make two rows. So let's set the font size to 28. This has to be bold. Then add another one right here, which is not bold. MC2000 minus superior microphone cable and then in another row which is below this it says extra low capacitance minus by k l o t z a i s g lowercase m b and uppercase h use the rectangle select tool select all this by clicking and dragging over it press ctrl c then press ctrl n then click ok paste it here with ctrl v ctrl s to save this this is going to be called cable texture now with ctrl n i'll start a new canvas 1024 by 1024 will do it hit enter one second I'll search sure logo PNG open up the first one right click copy image paste this into paint keep canvas size in fact we better press ctrl n and make a new canvas with these dimensions they're already gonna put in there if you have the image copied to your clipboard hit ok press ctrl v now you're good to go add a new layer which is going to be placed behind this take the bucket tool right click on the background to make it white press ctrl shift f to make this image flat or to merge all the layers into one now go to effects stylize normal map plus click ok and now we got our normal map for the logo Control S, name this logo normal map. Now let's get back into Blender and start applying these materials. Now here's how we can apply these textures to our materials. First of all, we're going to select everything with A, press Shift D, right click, take that shit somewhere in the back and press H to hide it. Now we're going to select this microphone body, go to the modifier properties, Control A to apply the subdivision surface modifier. Then we're going to select this face back here and Control Shift select this face down here. Now go up here to select, select loops, select boundary loop, Control E, mark seam, face select mode with three, L to select this surface, U, unwrap. Now go to the shading workspace again and in this body material, we're going to now add the texture that we created which is supposed to be placed down here that's going to be the ce shit that we created earlier so drag and drop the texture image into this material plug that into base color we're going to expand this little window down here use this menu to switch from image editor to uv editor now select everything with a scale down with s place it right here somewhere you can rotate it by 180 degrees and now we got these letters down here with Control i we're going to invert our selection select everything again with a scale it down as low as possible and place it over some gray area we don't want any textures or any markings on any other part of this microphone then we're going to select the crown here again click on body metal because that same material is applied to a part of this object expand the shader editor make me a little bit smaller so you can see what i'm doing once again go to properties Control a to apply the subdivision surface let's do two levels select a little surface like this u unwrap select it in the uv editor rotate by 90 degrees scale it down and place it over the sm55 text it's got to look something like this then back here before that we're going to select another surface like this u unwrap select everything rotate by 90 place it over here over dynamic and scale it down try to make it so it's approximately the same size you can use these edges around the text here as guidelines it's supposed to be something like this more or less we fucked up this one over here is supposed to be the logo so we're just going to shift it down here and scale it up a little bit more then back here we got to select another surface and this is where it's going to say dynamic so place that uv map for that part over this dynamic text right here then lastly in the back we got another little piece of text now i'm not a dumbass i know what this means Means. This means low impendence. If you don't know what that means, Google it. Now we got that out of the way. Let's move back here to the cable. Object, convert, 
mesh. Select this surface right around here somewhere. You unwrap. We're going to load up the cable texture into the cable material. Plug the color into base color. We're going to place this UV map over the first piece of text like this. Then we're going to select the next section down here. You unwrap. Two to enter edge select mode. Use alt right click and shift alt right click to select the vertical edge loops. Set the pivot point to individual origins. SX0. Control I to invert the selection. SY0. Select everything. Rotate by 90 degrees. Scale it up and place it over the next piece of text right here. Select everything else with control I. Scale that down on the UV map and just place it over some gray area and you'll be all right. Next, let's come up here to the best part of this video. We're going to create this mesh at the top of the microphone. To make this mesh, we're going to need some special textures. We're going to need one texture to dictate the bump pattern on top of this little surface. And then we're going to need another texture which is going to dictate the color, the reflections, and the metallic value of each pixel on this surface. This is what the normal map looks like. I modeled this in Blender and I baked it in Blender. And this is what the texture map looks like for all these other properties. When we combine this, this is going to give us a perfect mesh. Now, if you're intelligent, you're going to figure out that I already have a tutorial on my channel where I taught you exactly how to do this from scratch. So I'm not gonna sit here and show you all of this again. This video is long enough. I gave you enough shit for free. I explained this technique in depth in my ebook, so you can go check that out over there. Until then, you can just watch me apply these textures to this material. First of all, I'm going to pull out a normal map node, plug the color into color, and plug the normal into normal. Now we're going to apply the subdivision surface modifier. Object shade smooth, select everything, U unwrap. Color space has to be set to non-color here. And now in the UV editor, we're just going to scale up this texture by something like five. Maybe even higher it's supposed to be approximately like this now this still doesn't look good we now have to apply the colors so we're going to use this texture right here we're going to plug that into base color now these black areas here are still shiny and they shouldn't be so we're going to plug this color firstly into metallic then we're going to expand this specular section right here and plug the color into IOR level now the black areas are not reflective at all they're completely dark you can adjust the roughness to make this look a little bit better and there you go now you got your mesh finally let's select this little handle right here apply the subdivision surface modifier select this surface right here you unwrap and we're going to duplicate this plastic material because this one's going to be different from the others this one's going to be called plastic logo now we're going to load up the logo normal map right here add a normal map node plug the color into color plug the normal into normal adjust the UV map so that this is placed correctly set the color space to non color control I and everything else should be thrown into some corner like this and now to add back this bumpy texture we're first going to add what's called a mixed color node switch from color to vector plug the bump map into B and the normal map over here into A now plug the result into normal and now this is going to be a combination of these two normal maps you can see now that we simultaneously got this bump texture right here and also this normal map right here and together these work pretty well if you like this video and if you learned something and like the damn video subscribe to the channel check out the fucking ebook because everything that we talked about today is in there join our discord because we got over 3,600 people in there and we're growing by the day and if you want to interact with me then follow me on Instagram this is where I can usually communicate with you guys the most. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next one.